fall mob movies were based in Niagara Falls. I'm guessing uh, the boss would drink this beer. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mick Brewski, in front of the Ruski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Syndicate Brewery and Restaurant out in Niagara Falls, Ontario. This is their family edition, The Boss East Coast IPA, coming in at what I thought was 9.5% alcohol by volume, but it's actually 4.5% alcohol. Uh, alcohol, alcohol by volume. Da, 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 da. Uh, don't know why I said that, but at the bottom, it's going to be hard to focus. But the four looks like a nine, so I got a little worried, a little, little excited that it was nine point five percent, but it, it's actually four point five, a big five percent difference. Something to know. Very, very cool logo there. Green, kind of a weird green for my personal taste, and a nice uh, mobster-looking gentleman there with a toothpick in his uh, in his mouth. Uh, IBUs for this beer, coming in at 40 IBUs, which seems pretty good. I've had West Coast IPs, but I don't think I've had an East Coast IPA, or at least one that was called an East Coast IPA. So let's crack this open, see what we got. It's actually a really full can. A nice little bubble on top. Pouring into my Rouge River fat tulip style glass. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. See what the boss has in store for us. Looking at the beer, it's actually quite hazy. Not super hazy, but decently, decently, uh, decently hazy for sure. Nice yellow gold color as well. Nice white head on top. Let's have a smell. Ooh, ooh, whoa, that actually, whoa, that smells refreshing. You know, you get your grapefruit, you get your pine. But you get nice citrus notes, big bold citrus, not really florally though. A little bit of mangoes, pineapple, some melons as well. Oh wow, this smells just, this just smells like a treat. Like a refreshing, um, mouth, mouth watering, just tropical treat. Let's have a sip. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I was right. That is refreshing. That is citrusy for days. Nice, nice use of the hops as well. Really bitter in the beginning, but that bitterness goes away really quickly. Finish is very clean, but sort of uh, very minimal. Minimal finish, but a nice little bit of citrus notes going on. Just, just lingering, but nothing in your face. So far, I'm a big fan of this. Really nice. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm. It's just so crisp, refreshing, got that nice hoppy bite, not too, it's not super in your face though, which is great, just like middle of the road, easy going, but still a nice burst of citrus flavor in your face hole, and that, that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. really, really nice. That bitterness comes on a little, not I wouldn't say strong, but right there in the in the beginning, moving into the mid, and then ending, it 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 the bitterness goes boom, and then drops off and just coasts down nicely. As the beer goes from the front of your mouth down to the back and down when you swallow, very very well put together indeed. Mm. Mouthfeel, light to moderate. Uh, semi creamy just ever so slightly but goes down great no complaints some of the ling lingering flavors grapefruit and a little bit of melon in there as well pineapple in the beginning mixed with like your lemon lime uh, a little bit of orange mm. Mm. melon all over and the finish that melon really stands out just a solid solid beer all around Taking a look on the can, Syndicate Brewing Co. Family Edition, The Boss, East Coast IPA, 4.5% ABV, 40 IBUs. Start with the description. 
This crisp brew is our speakeasy's best seller. Lighter in alcohol, yet still full of hoppy flavor. Brewed from East Coast hops, this beer is so tasty that the boss may think he's doing you a favor, making it available to you. Be careful, you don't want to owe the boss a favor. Bad guys making good beer. Ingredients, water, barley, hops, and yeast. Very, very nice. Then they have some gangster demands, which is just another list of information. ABV, 4.5. IBUs, 40. SRM, 13. Temp, uh, serving temp, 5 degrees Celsius. And glassware is actually a, uh, looks to be a, like a tall pint glass almost. But I broke those rules. Hopefully I'm not whacked. Get it? Mobster humor. On the bottom, looking for a brood on date. Um, turn around. Canned on uh, 12, 11 something. So late, uh, mid December, I want to say. Mid December, this was canned on. It, it's kind of hard to read, it's kind of smudged a little bit, uh, or at least wasn't put on there properly with the labeling device. But, uh, no big complaints there. At least, at least it is there. I just wish it was le la legible. But overall, great information here. Everything you want. ABVs, IBUs, ingredients. Um, ingredients description. ABV, IBU, description, ingredients. Best before brewed on date. Perfect. And some extra stuff too. SRM, temp, glassware. Perfect. Moving over to the website now. Syndicate. Um, whoa. syndicator restaurant .ca. This is actually a restaurant uh, slash brewery sort of thing, but I haven't found um, uh, a list of, of beers on the website or uh, or online, and I can't find like a separate link to maybe a separate you know website for the brewery side of things, but. Interesting, interesting enough. Very nice upscale looking uh, looking website. And I'm just looking on their menu, uh, their, their food menu, because they don't have a beer menu, which is surprising. But it looks like they have some really good food. Yeah, where was, I saw something beef or like steak and I'm, oh, ooh, wow, they got a lot. Chef's steak cut. Oh, that sounds good. Braised beef, that sounds, oh. Ooh, looks like they got good food. Next time I'm in the Niagara area, I gotta go check out this place. I gotta go ask them about all their other beers. If they make other beers, I'm not too sure, but really, really nice. Sadly, no information about the beer on the website, so a little bit of a bummer there. But finally, no, not finally, we gotta go over to LCBO first. We gotta check these prices. The price for the Boss East Coast IPA is coming in at $2.95 for a 473 mil tall boy can. So not a bad price. One thing I like about this beer too is that it is 4.5% ABV, which means one, it's crushable, and two, you can enjoy more than one without, uh, you know, feeling the mass amount of effects of alcohol if it's, say, six and above. Um, because some beers, you know, some beers you really, really like them and you want to drink more of it, but, you know, you, 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 you can't if you're not wanting to get drunk like that. So, something to note. But easily, you know, crushable, goes down like a dream. Nice alcohol percentage to, you know, uh, session a few of them uh, in, in, in uh, one sitting. Finally now, moving over to Untapped, the boss from the Syndicate Restaurant and Brewery has been given a 3.07 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 37 ratings. Looks like looks like it was just added to uh, Untapped uh, a few a uh, couple weeks ago. So I'll definitely need to put my input in as well. But overall, really really nice beer. It just smells so refreshing and all that fun stuff. Cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get right to ratings. Mm. Mm. Beautiful lacing on the glass too. Just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Overall, the boss, really, really great beer. Sessionable, crushable, big citrus flavor, refreshing, crisp, just all in all a solid beer. Nothing that really stands out 
as far as uh, IPAs go, or, or in this case, with weird it's East Coast IPA, it's very low alcohol for an IPA category, but still, great, great stuff. Solid 8 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, even though I'm not a big fan of this color of green here, it has all the information you want and a little bit more. You know, you got your description, you got your ABV, IBUs, SRM, temp, glassware. A, you know, you do have your your um, brewed on or best before date, but still not, not legible, but hopefully that gets figured out. But not having a website is a bit of an issue, but I mean, at least they cover all the information on the actual cans. When you pick it up, you can actually get, you know, some knowledge about the beer, so you're not just left a... Uh, high and dry which is which is really awesome overall for presentation presentation gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me with all that said guys if you have any comments questions or beers you want me to review in the future leave all that information down in the comment box below if you want to go ahead and like this video subscribe to me maybe we would greatly appreciate it as well with all that said with all that said that's gonna do it for me maybe Bruce can like I always say crack beer and enjoy cheers Time to pour the beer into the glass When I get a good hand on the glass And there we go, so pouring away Pouring away Pouring away And we got more beer for the glass, yay!